In this video, I'm going to remind you how to use the polynomial tools to solve a quadratic or other polynomial equation. So this is also going to be done in a calculator page. So we will add a new document and add a calculator page. And now when I go to Menu, Algebra, I'm going to use the third option on this menu, which is Polynomial Tools. I'm going to stick with number one, Find Roots of Polynomial. It gives me a nice little template to fill in. I find that to be the easiest. It's going to ask you degree and roots. Um, the degree is the highest exponent in your polynomial. So if it's a quadratic, like x squared plus 3x you know, plus 10, uh, you're going to use degree as 2 because the highest power is a 2. If it's a cubic or a quartic, you'll change that exponent to reflect the highest, or you'll change that degree to reflect the highest exponent in the equation you're trying to solve. For roots, you have to decide whether you want it to give you real or complex solutions. We're going to stick with real. And then here's where you're basically typing in the a, b, and c that you're familiar with from using the quadratic formula. So this is going to evaluate the quadratic formula for you so you don't have to do any of that working if you just type in the coefficients. But make sure that your quadratic's in order, so the x squared term, then the x term, then the constant term. And whatever your coefficients are, if there's nothing in front of the x squared, we'll say that coefficient is 1. We'll say the coefficient of the x is going to be our b term here. Maybe it'll be negative 3 and the constant term goes here, maybe negative 10. So once you've got your A, B, and C filled in, you go to OK. It's going to show you the equation, make sure that it looks good. Notice it doesn't say equals 0, but that's implied here. When it's finding roots, it's finding the solutions when y is 0. And it already has the comma x typed in. And now when I hit Enter, it's going to give me two solutions in these brackets. So when you see something presented on the calculator in brackets like this, this is a set of answers, not an ordered pair. It doesn't give you an ordered pair like x comma y. It's giving us two different answers for x, which here are negative 2 and 5. This would work similarly if it was a cubic or a quartic. Any polynomial is going to give you all the real answers from least to greatest uh, with commas in between listed as a set. So great easy way to figure out x for a quadratic or other polynomial using the calculator. That's it.